Welcome back, everybody, to 70s Now. Alpha 21, I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to get back into doing some tier 4 uh, jobs for Wrecked. Uh, before we get started, though, we are going to make ourselves uh, these military stealth boots. They're only going to be level 1, so they're not going to be super great for armor, but um, they basically it says they have no stamina use penalty and muffled noise from movement. Um, so, and excuse me, we have uh, all these parts. So they're not really all that expensive to make. I mean, I've got freaking 76 military, um, uh, or yeah, military armor parts, and we've got 20 of the fiber. And let's see, we're gonna need two of these. Uh, I'll probably end up remaking these again once we get to the point where we can make high-end military armor too. But I think it'll probably be worth it for us to to make these even now. Uh, because here again, we've got the resources to do it, so we'll get the, the benefit from it. Um, okay, I think we need to make this in the workbench, so let's get over here. And boots and military stealth boots. And I'm, I don't know, maybe, maybe the armor is as good as what we're currently wearing. Which is... What are we currently wearing? No, we're wearing purple cloth. So these are actually one point armor worse than the cloth, but so why does this say, oh, it's a minus four mobility. Uh, but no stamina use. Okay. Hmm. What, how many mod slots do we have? We have three. Okay, so we still put all the mods on these. All right, hold on a second. Let's just take this shit off so we're doing a one-to-one -one comparison. So these, oh, but these have 2% better crit resist. That's, that's pretty good. Um, minus four mobility, though. So they do slow us down just a smidge. Whereas the cloth boots do not. They both say 0% noise increase. All right, let's look at something else. If we put these back on, and then we go to our stats. Um, let's see. Mobility is 96% with those. Uh, with the cloth on. Damage, carry, and jump. It doesn't give us any actual measurement of what our stealth is. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm questioning whether or not these actually are worth... If they are worth doing, you know? All right, so mobility is 96%. If we put these on, so it does definitely slow us down. Oh, well, how did that pop back up to from 2 to 5? What? All right, hold on. It's like it takes a second to, to recalculate the value. Okay, so this says 96%. We wear these. 95%. So we're actually only losing 1% of mobility, which isn't that big of a deal. So this has more armor, but 2% less crit. I don't... I, it's, it's almost more like almost a side grade, except for that... Muffle noise for movement. We have no way to quantify that. There's nothing that I'm aware of to measure that. So if we trust that this is actually making us more stealthy, then of course these boots are going to be better. Uh, the stamina doesn't matter because you also don't have a stamina penalty from cloth either. All right, well, let's wear them and uh, we'll just, you know, kind of see how things go. Uh, so we want to go and put all this stuff back on here. <clears throat> I 
do like the fact that it's got a little more crit resistance because crits are a lot worse than Alpha 21 than they used to be. The, you, you, we seem to, to get them a lot more. All right, anyway, uh, we got a lot of stuff we could sell. Uh, and we finally have some duct tape to make some repair kits. A 33 plus 7 glue that we bought from the traders. Speaking of repair kits, I think I want to make a few more just to carry around with me. Um, so let's make two more of those. Let's let's not actually worry about selling anything today. Instead, what we'll do is... Um, what am I doing? I'm looking in here. We'll just go... We'll go do some jobs and then... I think tomorrow's when the traders reset. And then we'll fix up everything we have to sell. Put as many mods on that stuff as we can. Uh, go sell it. And... You know, hopefully make a bunch, either buy something, you know, high end like motorcycle parts or at least make a big old water of coin there. Uh, okay, so recipes repair kit. Um, all right, so I went out when I got back to town at night. Um, I went out and just did some more salvaging for mostly for gas and looted a few more of the smaller POIs in the town. Um, we got some decent stuff, but nothing that was really camera worthy. Um, so I decided not to show any of that. And I was going to say one other thing and I don't remember what it was now. We are almost to the next level, so that's cool. And geez, I was going to say something else and I just can't remember what it was now. All right, well, let's, let's go ahead and this will, this is going to take us to Fort Camo. And, oh, uh, just, oh, yeah, I know what we were going to do. I was going to see if I can make, uh, awesome sauce. I can. Um, oh, well, no, I can't. <laughs> we need super corn. We need to find a, a, a Carl's, Bob's Boar's Carl's Corn place before we can actually make this ourselves. So we'll probably, in, <clears throat> excuse me, end up buying it, but I think it'll... It'll be worth doing, unless we luck out and find someone some loot. Okay, so Fort Camo is our next place, and it looks to me like... Yeah, it looks to me like it's one of these very southern POIs that continue on from this road here. But hopefully the terrain isn't so bad we can't get through here to get to it. I guess we're going to find out. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Oh boy, I don't know about this. <laughs> this terrain's looking pretty rough. Um, I think we have enough room to empty the mini bike and just carry it if we have to. Um, on the way back, we'll probably, you know, follow whatever path leads away from this place and hopefully it goes somewhere where we can get to. See, if we have the dirt bike, none of this train would be an issue. That dirt bike can pretty much travel across just about any, any train in this game. All right, Fort Camo. I think this is the one that has like the underground section to it. And does it also have bouncing Betty's? Yes, it does. There's one big bouncing Betty right there. Landmines, also known as. Okay, let's um here's somebody walking around, but that can't be a sleeper. That's gotta be. Let's see if we can loot this truck. And I'd like to get that gasoline too. Get it twice. Put our luckies on. Uh 
Alright, that's decent stuff. Okay, good. Got a little bit of extra gasoline out of the deal. Um, this is probably not going to be a fort that we're going to fix up for our role playing, just because it's it's not very well defended. But we will certainly clear it. Um, oh, I guess I already used up all that gas. Okay. This is a fetch and clear. Let's do it. So we got, oh, oh, we got a dude right here. Okay. Say goodnight, Gracie. Oh, did I, I must've had iron bolts loaded up in there. It is so nice, you guys, to have maxed out agility skills. We're very, we're very powerful now in terms of our skills and our perks, but we still don't have high-end equipment. We have like mid-grade equipment overall. So, oh, somebody just blew up. So we gotta, you know, we gotta be working on that. Oh, now that truck's not lootable, but these should still be. All right, let's go up. It's a red dot up here. Okay, they're both feral. Let's quietly take them back out here and kill them so we don't wake anybody else up. Big Mama's stuck. I think I'm hitting her. Yeah, we got her that time. There we go. Okay. There's the satchel right there. Ooh, nice. Um, <clears throat> one percent more crit resistance, but less to explosion and armor. So, I think we'll fix that one up and sell it. We should make a decent amount of cash from it too. All right, what does this do? It does that. Oh, it opened up the a hatch down there. Okay. Are you guys ferals or normals? There we go. Alright, let's check this. Yeah, not all that great. Okay, let's look in here. I see three red dots, and we just woke a normal bio guy up. There's another biohazard dude there. Get to his head. Okay, that didn't work so well. Damn it. It just hit so freaking fast. 
Oh. What other kind of chairs can we make out of this? Oh, just different colored ones. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright, we got another yellow bag. More basic stuff in it. I have some books here. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Nope, don't give a shit about that. That is not a lootable chest. That is a lootable ammo pile. Hey, we could call the uh, Zulu Tango Foxtrot. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna leave all of that there. Okay. Uh, we have actually have a point. So we are focusing now on intellect and intellect directly because to get the next grease monkey we need intellect four because that's what we're going for. Okay. Let's go take a look see inside this tent here. Dog might be more than one dog in here. There is more than one dog in here. All right. Uh, there's two dogs in here. Can't quite get to his head from here. Well, maybe we can. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that worked. Get to his head. We'll take that and that. And that. And this. Um, let's go ahead and harvest these guys. Uh, I'll probably end up chucking the bones at least. If we need room. And actually, didn't I stick a steel bolt in the side of this? Yeah, let's grab that and get that back. Very good. Let's try this truck next. Okay, uh, we'll make some money off of that sucker. Um, do we get gas off of this? Yes, we do. I'm going to wrench these just for the gasoline. And, you know, if we have room to take the other stuff with us, we will, but we need the gas. Such a pain in the butt in this game when you don't have the ability to make your own gas. Electrical parts. I'd rather have electrical parts than, well, here, scrap this. I definitely don't want the lead. I have a lead mine underneath my base. Why do I want to take up an inventory slot with it? That's a headlight. That's worth money. Um, yeah, let's check the iron and the pipes. Okay, here's an easy... Victim here. There's three more Zombaruskis in here. Nice. Can we get to the head of this guy? We sure can. Beautiful. And we got more gasoline in here. Give me my bolts back, you guys. Let's see what's in Mo Power. Electrical, tech junkie, vehicle, and some headlights. That's not bad stuff. Oh. <laughs> K 
kind of had a jumpy trigger finger there, but hey, got the job done, so. Alright, let's see if we can recover our bolt from her. Nope, we can't. Okay. Um, that, that's a Steve and a spider. Oh, um, one thing I need to do when we get back to the base is make a big old shite ton of steel bolts now that we have the crucible. Um, uh, what is that worth? Yeah, that's probably worth hanging on to to sell. So, let's just go drop off at the bike. I'm, I am watching for landmines in this little ditch here. I don't think there are any, but there might be. Doesn't look like it. Chucking those. It's like our dude's hungry too, so let's eat a couple bacon and eggs. in the potties. That guys or girls? Nope. Anybody else in this ditch we need to kill? I see two red dots. Yeah, I see a foot there. Let's go around this way. There's an easy kill. Got that guy in the ditch, and we saw a f the foot over here. Can't really get to their head so much. in here. Nope. Yep. Yes, please. Take 5% uh, less damage and deal 10% more when you're indoors. That's a really good one. And explosives. We can now make a cooking pot landmine. You know, for ambushes and things like that that we knew are coming up, we really probably should start doing something with landmines. I think that would be a good idea. Did we drop any of our arrows? Oh no, we didn't use arrows. <laughs> we used explosives on that guy. Okay. So what's in here? Come on, magazine. Okay, I'm not going to take the oil shale. Um, I think I'm going to leave the cement for the moment.
We need that uh, book that allows us to step on landmines. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I think we only need one more book in urban combat. Yep, and it's the one I just said. So I'm really looking forward to completing this because then we can put silencers on our weapons when, and we don't get any damage penalty. Plus the fact that, I mean, this is one of the best trees, I, I, I think, perk magazine trees in this game. It's just so good. So, we'll come across that eventually. That looks like a janitor guy. And he's probably going to be feral. And there's not any way I can get a headshot off on him without getting really close to him. Yeah. Oh, and he's not feral. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, so I think that's it for in here. So the only thing left is the bunker, which is, of course, going to be the most dangerous part. Let's do this. Make sure everybody's loaded. There's the loot. Both of these doors are unlocked. Yeah, let's go left first. So, one thing we can do is jump up here, you know, to, to get, get away and then just kite them if we have to. So I like the fact that, you know, we're not necessarily trapped in here. The thingy up there. <clears throat> okay, so I see three red dots. We got a lab, a feral lab lady. can't see anybody else. Oh, right there. Okay, she dropped a bag. They must be right on the other side of those stairs. Loot this. I really like these hydroponic things. I wish we could uh, use those. I'll bet somebody makes a, a mod where you can actually use those as crop plots. That'd be cool. Okay, so that clears out this room. Okay, let's see what's inside of... Yeah. There's some iron. Care about the nitrate. We will take that stuff. Alright, I think what I want to do is go do the same thing now on this side before we go into here, because who knows what shenanigans are going to happen once we get in there. There's a soldier in the corner. And then a couple of Zeke's over that way. Guess I guess there's nobody behind that counter because I don't see any red dots. Um, can we jump up here?
There's a headshot for us right there. Okay, let's go look behind the counter here. Okay, so I see four red dots and there's a headshot horse right there. Are you normal or feral? He's normal. Let's work on him a little bit. Okay, there's two zombies active now. I'm not sure where, where the other one is, though. Oh, shit. We got him. You know that rad remover I bought? Oh, shit. Yesterday, it's on this weapon. All right, we did it. <laughs> that was fun. I'll take that to sell. Likewise. Well, the knife, anyway. Uh, clubs and automatic weapons have 20% less degradation. I don't know if that counts for this, though. I mean, it is automatic, but I think it counts for, like, the assault rifle and the AK and stuff like that. The M... M60 and whatnot. Okay, let's go check this little secret here. And finally the loots. This is a pretty cool, cool place down here. All right, we have our luckies on, right? Yep, we do. Look at this big juicy ammo pile. My word, that's a lot of good stuff there. I'll take it. Got a medical pile. And let's uh let's just open stuff up so we see what it is, and then I'll have to do the usual go out to the bike and make room for it. And we land. This is a mo power. And a shoddy messiah. Nice. Okay, again, we'll come back for those. And oh, are you shitting me? Did I forget? Did I? I think I put my lockpicks. See, I use the, you know, the little thing where I move everything to the chest, and I always, well, not always, but I frequently forget my lockpicks. So we get to do this. Okay, what do we get? A rat remover. Of course. Well, hammer quality five. All right. I'm going to go up to the bike, make room, come back down, get this stuff, and figure out how to get back to the trader. So I will meet you guys back there. Hopefully we can get there back there before dark. All right, Wrecked, what you got, man? What you, well, look here, boy. we got ourselves a yes. real life hero. And wow, now he wants to be paid. You gotta be kidding me, really? Oh, dudes and dudettes, that is amazing. Look at that beauty. Okay, that's what we're taking. <laughs> Thanks, Wrecked, you jerk. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's take another job from you. Um, infested clear. Where at? Ranger Station you Golf. Do something for me, and maybe I won't kill. Um, well, what direction is that? Brave or stupid. Nobody Northwest. turns me down around here. Yeah, that's pro I, that's probably our Ranger Station Golf that we fixed up. So we're not going to take that. Um, here's Rain a fetch and clear. Important. 
What okay, we wanted to go to Fort Beggs anyway, so balls. we're going to take that. What are you standing there for? Don't you have work to do? Um, all right. So he's going to restock tomorrow. So I think I'm going to wait to sell anything so we can get maximum dollar tomorrow. That is amazing, you guys. Purple I'd compound go broke crossbow. More customers like you. All right. He's also got one of these. I don't know if this is always going to be in there. Um, and I don't have one, and I can't make one because I need super corn. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this now for tomorrow. Because we're gonna make a lot more than fifteen hundred gold tomorrow, big time. Okay, cool. That was amazing. Wow. Look at this baby. Ooh -wee. No, not that. This. <laughs> I love it. Um, we can make a, a 2x scope that we can put on it to two. And what do we have on this? Oh, actually, I think I'd prefer the reflex sight on this. So, yeah, we don't need to make the scope. Uh, modify. Put those two things on. And then we have room for two more things. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll put the other rad remover on there. That's perfect if you think about it, because if we, you know, if we if we one shot a greenie, or not one shot, but I mean if we sniper shot a greenie, even if we don't kill him, we stop we stop him from healing. Um, so we, we also have this rad remover on here too. So oh man, this is good. I'm I'm like so stoked that we got this. <laughs> the absolute best crossbow in the game, and it is ours. And we got it for free. Well, it depends on what you mean by free, but yeah. yeah we didn't have to pay gold for it, put it that way. All right, you guys. Um, that's that's cool. I'm really stoked that we got that. So I'm going to spend the night probably mining. I need to, I need to get some more resources built up. And then tomorrow morning, um, we probably will do the, the trader runs again tomorrow morning. Um, so just like we did in yesterday's episode, we're going to... I'm going to go around to all the traders and how much gasoline do I have? 698. Yeah, I think that's enough. I mean, there's a lot of cars on the road, especially in the desert that we can stop and wrench if we, if we need to. So yeah, we're going to do another road trip tomorrow. And then, um, after that, we'll get back to some more tier four questing because man sure it sure did pay off today didn't it that's amazing all right guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave comment share the video and we will catch you in i don't have another level do i no uh next episode Bye bye